Finally, it is time to cook. Luckily, what happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. Chef Alex Strada runs two of the finest restaurants at the Wynn Resort on the Vegas Strip. Alex and Strada. How he came up with these names, we have no idea, but we'll, we'll address that coming up. And he's brought his considerable culinary talents east to join us right now. He is our chef on a shoestring today. Chef Alex is here to prepare a cozy winter meal on our shoestring budget of just $40. Good to see you, first Thank of you all. How are you? Okay. Now, Great. last Thank week, you. we gave our viewers a yeah. choice. We gave three entrees uh, to the viewers to choose from. Mm -hmm. And guess what? They chose slow roasted short ribs with butternut squash and for dessert chef Alex will add coconut tapioca pudding with some fresh fruit and let's just get started here with some chickpea and roasted vegetable soup they made some pretty good choices out there yeah they did actually the short rib is one of our signature dishes at Alex where it win Las Vegas and it's you know Las Vegas is a great place to celebrate and yeah. everything but where everybody else is celebrating yeah. through the holidays this is a great alternative to the short ribs. I've never heard much about Vegas and I've never been but I you know it's a lot of fun right <laughs> all right let's talk, well, let's start with the uh, the chickpea soup well here's on the other side of the spectrum this is something that's vegan it's very healthy natural we have a lot of those options at the okay. hotel as well at the win we have a vegan menu in every in every um, of the restaurants anyway this is going to start out with a vegetable stock yep. some kombu which is a Chinese what is, yeah, what is that I, I saw that kombu. earlier in the packaging here no yeah, idea it's a it Chinese seaweed uh, mm -hmm. the Japanese use it a lot in, in their cooking they, they say it has the umami or basically uh, it's it's a flavor uh, component that that really imparts sweetness and, okay. and saltiness all at the same time but what we do is we add this for extra flavor and okay. it's also it's packed in salt so we rinse it really well well, Can I feel it? Sure. Just it's kind of slippery. Texture to it, yeah, and nice. basically what you do is you take it out afterwards. It? Sure, but it's kind of salty though. It's it's more of a flavoring ingredient. Yeah, and then you take it out. Okay, so what we have is a ch the uh, stock. We have some chickpeas that we soaked overnight. You can use yep. the canned woods if you'd like. Basically, the vegetable stock, we got the chickpeas. And you yeah. soak them overnight in just water? In just water, okay. yes. And then we have some farro or some spelt, which is a type of grain that you can get in, in a whole, you know, and in, in whole natural sort? Okay. Yeah. And then we have some vegetables Dice that we've veggies. already, do a little bit of diced vegetables. And then carrots, that's celery, celery, that's carrots, okay. celery um, and onions and leeks. And then what we've done is we cooked that, and right before you puree it, mm -hmm. you take out the kombu because it is pretty salty, and yep. you'll see this nice silky consistency. Yep. in the soup. So what we've done is we have this nice silky soup and what we're going to do is you'll see the difference here and then you thin it out or thicken it up as you want it. And uh, How long till it becomes that It's that probably, you know, you're going to cook it for about 45 minutes to an hour yep. and then you puree it in a blender and you don't have to strain it if you don't want to. It just makes a mess if you strain stuff. So then we're going to do is garnish that with a little bit of the vegetables a little something on top for yep. color. A little bit of the farro again, uh, the spelt. And then what we do is we have a little salad of apples and pomegranates. Wow. That's with some chives. There's a lot in there, huh? Yeah, but Can it's really flavorful. It's vegan. It's good for you. And it's light. That's one alternative. Now, if you want, they have some vegans, vegetarians around. It's actually uh, very nice. Thank you. Not, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of vegan food, to be honest with you. I just haven't well, experienced it much, but this is quite well, good. Well, that's a trick. You have to kind of know how to cook and know where you're going with it and use fresh vegetables and really focus on it. Yeah. I recommend it highly. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's talk about the short ribs now because uh, now we're going on the other side of the spectrum. This is something that. rich and exciting and, and, this is not and delicious. No, <laughs> quite, uh, quite the opposite. <laughs> but you know, this is one of our signature dishes, so I'm not yeah. taking anything away from it. <laughs> okay, we've been cooking these for a long time. So yeah. what we have is uh, some beef short ribs on the okay. bone. Yeah. We've heated the olive oil in the pan. Now, generally, generally you season, but you don't season first with this one because this is going to cook for a long, long time. Yeah. And you want to season afterwards. Now we can keep an eye on it because what's going to happen is it's going to sear. Yeah. We're going to add some carrots. How fatty a piece of meat is this? Um, it depends what you buy. I mean, if you if you buy a prime or if you want to go with actually, you know, once you're doing short ribs, you, if you're going to be eating short ribs, just go for it. Just so go get for a nice fatty piece of meat. Absolutely. Uh, the carrots, the shallots, the garlic, yep. leeks. Okay, so what's the trick here is if you want to help me out, yeah, um, we're going to take a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of honey. Okay. Now, what you want to do, the trick to this thing is caramelizing the honey. Got it. Okay, so go ahead and put a little bit Not of honey much, in there. I'm uh, I'll tell you to stop. Like. Just stop. Okay. okay, perfect. All right, so then what we're going to do is caramelize that. Got then it. deglaze it with a, about two tablespoons of that. Say when. When? Okay. So what's that going to do? It's going to start like a sweet and sour. Now we're dish. cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Making noise and everything. You want to sear it, get some color to it, and then after that's reduced, oh, that. then you smell that the vinegar and the honey. It's kind of sweet. Lay and it sour. all in. Go ahead. That's all red wine, and the red wine you want to go ahead and cook it. As soon as it comes to boil, all the alcohol's gone. And so how if you're worried about that. how long from this? to that. Okay, from this to that, you're talking about four or five hours in wow. a slow oven. Just keep an eye on it so it doesn't stick and burn. And actually, what your end result is going to be is this incredibly thick wow, sauce. This is just a reduction of the stock that you're going to be adding after you, s you simmer all the alcohol out of the wine. Yep. You add some of the stock, 
and you cover it and you just cook, cook, cook four for about five four or five now. hours, nice and slow. This is much better done the day before, that way you're not yeah. rushing, you're not timing your whole day, okay? And then what you have is, the result is you're gonna have the short rib, and I will plate one right now for you. Go ahead, we got about a minute left here. So okay, perfect, well, because we have time for dessert then. Mm -hmm. So we have the short ribs that I've, uh, I've taken the bones Let off. me get a fork and a knife here, Alex. Okay, perfect, you gotta this try this. That's pretty darn good. Absolutely. It is pretty tasty. Okay, okay so there's a nice little piece, and then we're gonna wait. You got the sauce. Okay. It's the best part. Yeah, exactly. Just looking at the here, sauce, you know, man. Not a very patient okay. person. Okay. Do you see how thick that sauce is? Yeah, yeah. It's reduced down to almost like a wow. syrup. Wow, boy, that cuts. I don't even need a knife. No, it's it's super tender. did not even need a knife. Are you ready? Drink. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm. You need to have your own restaurants. Oh, I do. <laughs> I'm I do. I, have, I know. I, I got to you here. <laughs> All right. Let's talk dessert now. Okay. Then for dessert is something oh, great. Good. What these are? These I are the uh, little um, coconut tapioca. tapioca. Again, this is a vegan one too. Mm -hmm. What you do is, you know, usually with tapioca you have cream and you have all that stuff. Well, what I've done here is we use soy milk. Mm. Okay. So what we do is we make a tapioca recipe, which we provide. Hello. Hello. How are you? We're here to sample Hello, while you friend. cook. Excellent. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. We got a little sample. Don't worry, my fork is fine. <laughs> and that's the short rib, and we have a few more for you. So, and then the coconut tapioca. What we've done is basically the recipe. We use soy milk instead yep. of cream or whatever <laughs> keeps it nice and light. And we have also agave nectar wow. instead of sugar. Got it. Okay. So, and then what we have is tropical fruit. Right now in the winter time, tropical fruits are at their best. And here's sure. a little sampling for you. Wow. You can even do like little buffet type samplings, yeah, or you can do a big one. Too. He loves it. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. You know the colors are great too, and the different tastes. You'd really, I mean, Alex, you're doing yourself here. I'm trying. Mm. Let's see how much you spent. You had forty dollars. So let's see what the man mm -hmm. from Vegas was able to do. Okay. Man the Vegas. total thirty nine dollars and fifty cents. He no came Vegas. in under forty. Well done. Mm. For that, we will pick up your flight back to Vegas. Oh, good. <laughs> good. All right, let's see how low can That's you go? Our top three right there. Are. As you can see, Bill Telepan still leading the way at the number one spot right now as the year quickly comes to a close. Alex, great to see you. Alex Strada at the Wynn Hotel. Delicious. He's got two, right. two restaurants at the hotel. Alex and Strada, check out either one. They're both dynamite. Now, it is time for you at home to decide what's on the menu for next week. You chose short ribs this week. You did a good job. Here are your choices now, folks. For baked salmon with celery root puree, simply call star star zero one. If you prefer roasted chicken with lemon thyme, mushrooms and mashed potatoes call star star zero two remember don't text you just have to dial and fans of braised pork shoulder little neck clams potatoes and cauliflower pickles <laughs> uh, <laughs> should call star star zero three please do not allow me to affect your voting whatsoever standard data and message rates apply